Hey guys, so some of you may have heard that Nintendo recently targeted a Mario 64 fan project with the DMCA takedown. And this came, as far as I know, after it was posted on various video game publication websites. Something that I find interesting is that these websites always seem to publicize these projects and talk about how excited they are for them and, you know, how kick-ass they look and all of that positive press mumbo-jumbo. But the thing that they fail to realize is that these projects are generally frowned upon by the developers of the games. Now, I, I notice when it comes to the PC gaming community, mods are more accepted, and it seems like sometimes companies even encourage uh, fan-made mods to th for their games. But when it comes to things like Nintendo and console games, uh, even old retro games, there was a Chrono Trigger remake that was taken down, there was a Chrono Trigger sequel that was also ended up being removed. Just a lot of projects that really looked like they had a lot of promise and ended up getting shut down because they received too much press and the companies took notice and decided to get them for copyright infringement, which is really unfortunate because these games are awesome, the creators put a lot of work into them, and they do it for free. I can understand if somebody's trying to profit off of somebody else's intellectual property. But these projects are just done out of love for the video games and, you know, love for the characters and the series that they come from. And it's sad to me to see them get shut down while they're in the process of being worked on before anyone really has the chance to play a completed version. If the publications are really invested in these projects and would like to see them come to completion and have their fans play them, then what they really need to do is stop creating a hype around them before they are released. I understand that it's a video game website, they want to bring traffic to their website, but really, in this case, it's not something that they have to report on right away. They could hold off, but it seems to me that they would rather get the clicks, get the attention, for reporting on this project first. But what happens is, you know, the, these big companies, they look at these websites, they sponsor these websites sometimes, they have, they run advertisements on them. So of course they're keeping an eye out on what gets published there. And if they see something like, oh, here's a Mario 64 fan remake project, well, Nintendo's gonna get their legal team together and they're gonna send out a takedown. And I just feel like it's really unfortunate and I wish that if these video game websites seriously loved video games and seriously had a respect for the fan modding community and the fan hacking community, that they would just wait. They would sit on this information until it's relevant, until it's released. That way, at least some people have a chance to play and download these projects and spread them around before there's a chance for them to be taken down by copyright infringement. And like I said, I don't think anybody should be profiting off of somebody else's work, so I support the free projects, and I hope that the latest project that was reported on, which is a uh, Metroid hack that combines Super Metroid and Metroid Fusion, hopefully it doesn't get too much attention and end up getting removed for copyright infringement as well. And that's really all I wanted to talk about. So what are your thoughts on this? Have any projects that you've been interested in been shut down because of too much press? Um, give me your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think that companies should allow fans to make hacks or sequels as long as they're not making a profit off of it? All right. Take it easy, guys.